Kawasaki is going all in into the hydrogen fueled combustion engine technology that could potentially achieve zero carbon emissions for the future motorcycles. The project has been in progress for several years and the first prototype engine, a supercharged four cylinder derived from the H2 Superbike, was showcased in the late 2021. The recent trademark applications for the title HYSE and an image of a water droplet on two wheels suggest that there is a name and a logo to go with the project now. The water droplet logo obviously represents the main emission of a hydrogen fueled combustion engine, which is water. Kawasaki's fuel storage system for hydrogen fueled engine appears to be similar, if not identical, to the one that Toyota has created for its hydrogen fueled infrastructure. Toyota has designed swappable hydrogen canister to power fuel cells for home electricity and to power vehicles. Apart from Toyota, Kawasaki is also working with Yamaha, Subaru and Mazda on the development of hydrogen-fueled combustion engine technology. Kawasaki's supercharged H2 engine is the ideal candidate for the conversion to hydrogen power. And the big change needed to accommodate hydrogen as a fuel is the adoption of direct injection something Kawasaki has already added to its prototype. Hydrogen-fueled combustion engine requires much more air in the cylinder than gasoline to achieve the same power, so they benefit from forced induction. The fuel storage system uses hydrogen in pre-filled tubular canister stored on the back of the motorcycle, thus limiting its luggage space. Hydrogen has higher energy density than gasoline, with around three times more specific energy. However, it is less dense and occupies more space, even in its cryogenic liquid form. To store the same amount of energy found in a tank of gasoline, a much larger volume of hydrogen is required because one gallon of liquid hydrogen only weighs 0.6 pounds, or in metric terms, a liter of liquid hydrogen only weighs 75 grams, while a gallon of gasoline weighs 6 pounds, which is 750 grams to a liter in metric. To maintain its liquid state, the hydrogen needs to be cooled to a temperature below minus 240 degrees Celsius or minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. But despite these challenges, Kawasaki believes that the hydrogen offers a realistic route forward for motorcycling, particularly for larger long-range models. They believe that the battery electric machines should deal with shorter journeys. Although the hydrogen fuel motorcycle's infrastructure would need to be created, Kawasaki believes that it is a viable option to pursue, and they seem committed to the project. In contrast, other motorcycle manufacturers, including Ducati, KTM, and BMW, appear to have more faith in the idea of synthetically produced e-fuels. These fuels can operate as a drop-in replacement for gasoline, while achieving carbon neutrality from an environmental perspective. But personally, I believe that all of these technologies are likely to play a role in the future of motorcycling, and there won't be a one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to alternative fuels. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time, ride safe.